We've just met the scientists who were based here and they've been here for three months and they've seen one snow leopard which was two miles away. So that was a slightly sobering piece of news. First day and we've got the snow leopards. Wow, that looks fantastic. No, we had a really good first few days of the shoot. Now we're into the reality of snow leopards and you know, it's been five days now since we've seen one. I think I'm gonna make a vow not to shave until I see a snow leopard, which could prove to be a mistake because we've still got another month here. It's been about a week today. It's been another slow day, almost two weeks now. Nearly three weeks now. It's three weeks. This is getting a bit ridiculous now. As far as I can tell, there aren't any around here. We are getting slightly desperate here. I've spent the last month trying to film a rock-coloured cat amongst the mountain range of cat-coloured rocks and um, surprisingly enough so far I've been unsuccessful. About to see my first ever snow leopard apparently if I look through here there's a snow leopard on the carcass so here we go. I don't see it. <laughs> oh, I see it, I see it. There it is. Now you can shave your beard. <laughs> I can shave, I can shave now. One of the things that is peculiar to this place is that there are just so many vultures around that the leopard has to continually protect its prey during the daytime or else it will be destroyed. Once the vultures come down, they, they just demolish a huge carcass in a very short space of time. The leopard was being persecuted by these magpies that would, that would sort of hop around it and they'd sort of creep up and creep up and try and grab little bits of the carcass and then every now and again the leopard would jump out with all its fury and try and grab one or at least scare them away. Mm -hmm. 